Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming back to you from RE Plus, the International Solar Conference in Anaheim, California. And this afternoon I'm joined by Nate from SunPower, and we're going to be looking at the SunPower SunVault energy storage system. So Nate, thanks for joining us. Of course. Well, tell us, tell us about SunVault. Sure. So SunVault is our storage offering that we uh, sell with our Equinox PV systems that go on the roof. This gives you the ability to power your home during an outage. Um, this has been on the market for quite a while now, but we're happy to announce uh, two new versions of this um, that we're now offering or planning to offer. And so <clears throat> it's the same general uh, setup you see here. We have what we call the ESS enclosure, which contains the inverter and the battery. And then we have our hub plus, which, uh, which contains multiple things. It has our, what's called MID, which is a microgrid interconnect device that senses when the grid goes down and puts you into backup mode. If we uh, open this up, you can also see contained within um, up here is also our monitoring, which allows you to connect to the MySun Power app and you can check you know, how much power you're producing through your rooftop and then what your state of charge your battery is. Uh, we also have in here dedicated circuits where you can land your solar. And then uh, as shown right here, this is where you can put backup circuits. So, you know, what a homeowner wants to back up can really vary, but oftentimes it's the refrigerator, the Wi-Fi. Those are the things you definitely want to have uh, when the grid goes down. There's other things like, you know, garage door opener, a sump pump, critical things that, that you can't do without. Um, in addition to having dedicated backup circuits here, another option is to actually um, install multiple of these. Each one of these contains an inverter. So if you put uh, a couple of these in parallel, you can now have even more power available. Each one of these is six kilowatts. You put another one next to it, now you have 12 kilowatts. And so you can get to a point where you no longer need to decide which loads you wanna back up. You can back up your entire home. and so. It really is customer preference. Um, some customers, uh, you know, there's just a few loads they want to back up. Others, they want to be able to run their AC, charge their EV, do it, do anything during an outage. Um, so, what's shown here? This is a 13 kilowatt hour battery. Our new version that's coming out is going to have a 19.5 kilowatt hour battery, and uh, that's advantageous for a number of reasons. From an installation viewpoint, you can now you know, install more kilowatt hours with the same enclosure, so it's a quicker installation, and uh, it just allows you to run your appliances longer during an outage. Excellent. Well, thank you for that that yeah. walkthrough here. I just have a, have a couple of questions. Sure. I want to make sure that the audience understands. So it sounds like if we do a single uh, ESS enclosure, single inverter, that would allow us to do critical home, you know, yep. partial home backup. Yep. And is it if we do two or more, then we can configure it in a whole house configuration? Yes, that's that's correct. Uh, we, we term it partial home backup and whole home backup, and then you have essential loads versus comfort loads. And so essential is what you can't do without comfort. You know, you they're nice to have, but you could live with them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like yeah, exactly. Sure. Yep. Just a word from our sponsor, Span.io and the Span Smart Electrical Panel. If you're considering an investment in a solar plus battery backup system for your home, then you're going to want to have maximum visibility and control of how much solar energy you're collecting, how much energy you're storing, and where that energy is being spent within your home. The SPAN Smart Electrical Panel allows you to dynamically control which circuits have access to backup power and which ones do not without the need of a separate critical loads panel and get up to 40% more running time on your battery backup. So feel free to go directly to the span.io website or you can just visit the link on the description below. It'll take you to the page, you can get more information or if you'd like to, get in touch with an installer right away. If you could just do a, just a quick rundown of what's different today with, with the Sunball that we're looking at today yeah. versus the one that was originally released about, about 18 months ago, I yeah, think? Yeah, correct. Uh, it's really the energy capacity and then the ability to parallel them, so to to stack multiple inverters. And uh, one you know unique thing or another benefit of this is it's very modular. So 
you can start off with a single enclosure. If your energy needs evolve over time, you can just add another one. So you can just keep stacking more uh, batteries and more inverters to build out your system for your needs. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, if you don't mind, share with us a little bit about what's on what's on the product roadmap. What can uh, consumers or what can even potential installers expect yep. to see over the next one to two years? Sure. Yeah. So you know, uh, Sun Power is traditionally known as you know solar systems you put on your roof, but as you see here, the ecosystem's growing. So you now have storage. You have uh, EV charger. We have a partnership with Wallbox. So you know, if a homeowner is getting solar, it's a great time to have a conversation. Has your power gone out? Have you seen what's happening in California and Texas? Um, do you have an EV? And uh, we're offering more and more of these products for our customers' needs. And then another like really exciting thing is we look out into the future. Once you have these systems installed um, and you have your My Sun Power app that's you know communicating through your monitoring system here, you can start enabling what are called virtual power plants where if uh, the grid is under pressure and it needs uh, more uh, generation, you can actually have homeowners participate in programs where they actually take their stored solar energy and export it back into the grid. You can also uh, enable certain loads to turn off. And so if you know a grid's under stress, you can help it out in multiple ways. You can turn things off, like defer EV charging or some other kind of load. And then you can also put more electrons back into the grid. So that's that's what we're excited about the next couple of years. Great. Well, I thank you for taking time to chat with Solar Surge today. Yeah. So, folks, this has been a walkthrough of the Generation 2 SunPower Sunvolt Energy Storage System. Uh, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the information that we publish here on Solar Surge, be sure to give us a thumbs up. That way, the platforms will know to not only show you more videos like this, but to show this video to more people. Uh, and also, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we publish new videos like this, where we have new product announcements or product updates, uh, you, can, you can keep current and keep up to date with us. Well, folks, that, that pretty much does it with today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.